Hello everybody and welcome to 3.1.2 D relative positions. What we're going to do first is we're going to make a new file. After we make our new file, we're going to make sure we add a table. It's going to be 1000 by 1000. Then we're going to add our robot. After that, we're going to add cylinders, not cubes this time, 40 by 40. We're going to add one cylinder, and then we're going to add bins, which should be in storage devices. We're going to add three bins, bin one, bin two, and bin three. And then we have positions for the cylinder. So the cylinder's position is 250, negative 260. And the bin positions are 250 by a negative 80. And then the second one is 250, 100. And then the third one is 250, 280. And we want our table to be in position at zero, 0, And that's pretty much it. We're going to save. And I'll see you guys on RoboCell. All right, so now that we're in RoboCell, I've inserted all the positions and numbers. Because you guys should be able to know how to do that. But here they are, just in case you don't. Here's position 1. Right here. Here's position 2. Here's position 3. Here's position 4, here's position 5, and here's position 99. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to start entering our code. So, so first, we're going to add our remarks of, you know, our name and our period number. So we're going to add 3.1.2 D relative positions. And then we're going to add our name. And then we're going to add a period number. And now we're going to open the gripper. We're going to go to position 99 pass. We're going to go to position one fast. We're going to go linear to position two at 50 speed or 90 speed. We're going to close the gripper. Then we're going to go linear to position five at 90 speed. And then we're going to dip the cylinder in bin A by going to position 4 fast, then we're going to go linear to position 2 at 90 speed, and then we're going to do a wait command, 50 tenths of a second, which is 5 seconds, and then we're going to go linear to position 3 at 90 speed. And then we're going to dip the cylinder in bins B and C, which would be the same way that we did this. So I'm going to go ahead and do it, and then I'll meet you guys over there. Okay, and here is the final look. So now that we have everything set up and correct, we're going to go ahead and run ourselves the procedure and see what happens. So as you can see, it grabbed the cylinder, and it's going to dip it. It's going to wait five seconds, and then it's going to come back out, go to the next one. It's going to dip it. Five seconds, then go to the next one.
Yep. Dip it. And then it's going to go back home. And that's it for 3.1.2D relative positions.